students are going um, at the Fitch Meeting Center. Um, they're prepared probably for, they had about 60 or 70. They're expecting that to double maybe tonight at the Mitchell Center that I was at. Um, that was extremely busy. They're thinking they might even get two or 300 tonight. Um, I've, it's, I haven't had time to go to all the warming centers, but the longer this is uh, going on, the more these centers are going to be used. And hopefully we can have this hydro restored. Uh, I, I'd love to give you a time and a date, but right now, um, at this rate, it's going to take a few days. But we're down under 200,000, so we are working as quick as possible. When we get the trucks in from the states and around the province of Manitoba, I'm sure that will reduce the time dramatically. Mr. Is this a concern that Sorry. some roads are still impassable uh, and that's making it tough for hydro crews, also maybe making it difficult for emergency crews? What's the plan specifically to deal with debris that's on the roads and making sure that they're passable for both hydro crews and any of the different stations? Well, Forest Street and transportation and hydro are working together. Uh, as you know, some of them are live wire still. Um, hydro is dealing with that. And then we have our forestry crew coming in. Uh, and I want to thank the provincial government for helping us out there. Um, and transportation. Uh, the roads have improved a lot. I went down a lot of roads that had a lot of trees and branches on them. They've been pushed off to the side. If you're saying, when are we going to get around to removing them from the sidewalk? That's, you know, probably a week <coughs> away right now, realistically. Our, our job is to clear the roads, and our number one priority is to get the hydro restored. That seems, I guess, to go down the block a little bit, just before, but a decision uh, not to uh, declare a state of emergency. We're hearing about all these uh, extra resources coming in now. Can John or Joe speak to what exactly did you advise the mayor uh, around declaring a state of emergency, and what would it have meant uh, to activate 